Who's coming in? The motion of no confidence has been passed in uh, Tswani Speaker Katlejo Matebe. Earlier, chaos erupted over the election of an acting speaker. Matebe had recused herself pending a motion of no confidence against her and the Mayor Stevens Mohalapa. The ANC says it's on a mission to reclaim the metro, but the DA says this is a coup. ENCA's Kaili Kumalo is uh, following that story, joins us now live uh, in Pretoria. I understand, Kai, good evening to you, with a senior representative of the Democratic Alliance. Well, that's right, uh, Jeremy. It's been a very tumultuous ride here in Pretoria as uh, the Swanee uh, Council Chambers. I mean, outside here it's very cold, uh, but inside the chambers, I can tell you this much, it's incredibly hot. So that motion just got passed a short while ago against uh, the Speaker, and now we're waiting for now the motion against uh, the Mayor. But joining us now, Jeremy, of course, is John Moody from the Democratic Alliance here in Gauteng. So good evening to you, sir. Maybe just your immediate a reaction to the developments here? Well, we believe that the acting speaker is illegitimate in that he has been illegitimate and illegally placed in that position. He therefore follows in terms of law that everything else that transpires under his chairmanship of this council meeting is illegal as well. So we will contest this matter in the court of law. Our attorneys are busy drafting papers at this moment in time, and um, we will try and seek such uh, remedy um, on an urgency basis. Uh, and just, Mr. Moody, to get your observation, I mean, from 2 p.m. Uh, today, we're expecting the motion to be tabled, but I mean, now it's almost, uh, you know, half past seven. We're still waiting for the motion against the mayor to be tabled. Uh, what is the feeling inside uh, the DA's benches right now? Well, we know why we are here. We are here to ensure that the people are trying to get the government that, and, and retain the government that they deserve. The vast majority of people voted for, not for the ANC, they voted for change. And therefore, we will sit through this illegitimate sitting um, of what is happening. This, the sitting itself is still legitimate, but everything else that is transpiring in there is illegitimate. We are not going to fall into the same trap as what we did in Nelson Mandela Bay 15 months ago. We will sit in that chambers until such time that everything is resolved over here and the speaker comes in and concludes the, 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 the meeting um, so that we have our case um, to be heard in court, you know, so that we don't jeopardize that case. Uh, and just before I let you go, sir, uh, what's going to be the ground of your argument? I mean, for example, they are saying the House is duly constituted, it's meeting the quorum, and of course we saw earlier the MC's representative acting since there was a bit of a vacuum. So w what's going to be a ground in court? Well, there was no vacuum, and that is our argument, because right here in my hand I have a council resolution taken on the 26th of January 2017 in which the council... Um, appointed and elected to have a, a councillor, a councillor Veli uh, Kumalo, to act as acting speaker whenever the, the speaker is not available. So on those grounds, we are saying that councillor Veli was there. She had constituted and opened this meeting legally, and she had done a hand over to him, the EFF and the ANC, that prevented him from chairing this meeting. And uh, th th all the stalling was as a result of their shenanigans. And we believe um, that based on, on, on this resolution, that, um, and even, not even with this resolution, but also the fact that Kohta could go in there and chair a meeting whilst you have uh, the, the, the speaker still in the house, well, in the, in, in the precinct, and also because she didn't put in for a leave of absence, she was there, she opened the meeting. And then, of course, the issue of you have an acting um, city manager there. There was no, and you override the acting city manager by going and, 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 and chairing this meeting. We believe that this whole process is flawed, and therefore what is happening inside there is illegitimate and illegal. All right, uh, so thank you so much indeed. So, Jeremy, that's uh, the Democratic Alliance leader here in Gauteng, uh, Joan Moody. So they're very determined that uh, they will go to court uh, to fight. Of course, uh, it's been a very dramatic day here in Pretoria, and certainly it's not going to end anytime soon. So we'll continue to ban uh, the midnight oil. So back to you in studio. All right, we'll talk to you a little bit later.